Guys, if you've ever followed a bit of 80s punk music, you may remember a song called The Eighth Day. It was a song by Hazel O'Connor about robots replacing humans and taking over the world. Well, today, guys, we're going to take a look at a robot which is going to take over that mundane task of vacuuming your house. Now, are these things any good? Let's find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, check this out. It's the Trifo Robot Vacuum and she's called Emma. Now, these robots have been around for a while. We've seen a lot of robot lawnmowers and now vacuums. Now guys, Trifo sent me Emma to review. However, if you watch my channel, you'll know that whether I'm sent something or whether I buy it myself, you're always gonna get an honest review from me, good, bad, or indifferent. So, before we get into it, let's take a look of what we've got in the box. Now, first off, we've got the instruction manual. Now, make sure you take a bit of time to read this as there are a ton of features packed into this little robot. Then you have the power adapter, a two year warranty card and the vacuum itself. Now, first impressions are, it kind of looks like the top of one of those automatic bins, but that aside, they all pretty much look the same. Now, let's get the rest of the pits unboxed. You've got the charging base with a nice little storage bin to keep the cable tidy. You also have a mop attachment. Yes, this is not only a vacuum, but it's also a mop, which is pretty cool as a lot of houses these days have a combination of carpet and hard floors. You also have a couple of spare Velcro pads as this is how the mop attachment fits on. And you also have the mops themselves. Now, these look like they can be washed, but I'm kind of thinking that you're probably gonna to have to throw them away. They're probably disposable, but if you check out the Trifo website, you can actually purchase any accessories or replacement parts you need. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, guys, you have the attachment for picking up pet hair, which replaces the brush. So rather than the hair getting tangled up around the brush, it kind of just sucks it up through this part of the attachment and you don't get any tangled hair. Now, guys, the main brush is interchangeable with the pet hair attachment. Also, you have a, an adjustable suction capability, which you can specify in the app but more on the app in just a few minutes. Now, taking a look around Emma, on the front, you've got the bumper. Now, you're gonna to need to remove this transport seal um, in order for the bumper to function properly. You also have the smart navigation sensors, so Emma knows where she's actually going. Now, flip her upside down, and you've got the two main wheels and a directional wheel. You also have the main brush compartment and a rotating brush, which can get into all the nooks and crannies and that kind of directs all of the dust in, from the corners into the main brush unit. Then you've got the mop attachment, which is, as I said before, held on with these little Velcro tabs. Just line it up, press it down, and you're good to go. Now, removing the main brush compartment is easy. Just unclip and the brush slides right out. You can then replace this with the pet hair extractor. Now, turn Emma back over, and we've got this little flap that we lift up and now you have access to the dust compartment. Now click the button and this comes right out for easy emptying. You also have a removable HEPA filter and a charcoal filter which can be removed and washed. Now let's get this set up and see it in action. First let's get the app installed on the phone. Once you've installed the app you're going to have to register for an account and once you do that you can just connect the app to Emma and you're good to go. Now guys, just click on the add new device button. On Emma, just open up the flap, power on, press and hold the home button, and this will put Emma into pairing mode. Once everything is connected up, the app will check for software updates. I clicked on update, because mine did have an update, but you have to ensure there's at least 30% of charge um, and Emma is on the charging stand. So I'm on 29%, so let's get it on the charge stand and then I'll be right back. Right, Emma's now charged to 32%, so let's do the update. Incidentally, it's pretty nice that you get spoken commands from Emma, so whenever she's doing something, 
she's going to talk right back to you so you're never kind of in the dark about what's going on so guys all updated so let's take a look at the app the display shows the cleaning area time and remaining battery charge at the bottom you have the recharge icon which if you press that it's going to send emma straight back to her charging base you've got the suction setting which if you click that you can increase and decrease that and at the end of the day this will have an impact on battery so you kind of may wish to experiment with that now if I hit the clean button, Emma is going to burst into life and start her travel. So let's hang five on that for a minute. You also have this manual control mode button, which once pressed gives you an on-screen joystick so you can drive Emma around. Now click on the three dots at the top of the screen and you get into the settings menu where you can see information about the device and also the device name and change that name if you want to. You can change the voice settings and the volume. You can put it into quiet mode, set up a cleaning schedule so that it will come on and get going at a certain time every day. You can look at the cleaning history, but you know we're gonna come back to all of that once we've had a clean. Also guys, you can also check on the run times of the consumable parts and see how long they have until you should change them. So that's pretty cool. You could also click on the Find My Robot button to see where Emma is. Nice. And lastly, you can check and update the software if need be, but obviously we've already done that. So guys, let's take Emma for a spin and see her in action. We're gonna try the auto mode where we just let her get on with it, and then the manual mode where we will drive her around. Now, I've purposely picked an area with a few obstructions just to see how she gets on. So let's give it a go. Now, here you can see her moving about, and of course, as soon as she senses something or bumps into something, she changes direction and then she's off again. On the app, you can see where she started and the route that she took. And now, if I hit the recharge button, she's gonna go back to the charging base. That's pretty cool. Now, let's try manual mode. Again, driving around, using the joystick, forwards, backwards, turning around, I'm doing all of the control on that. So easy, right? No driving license required. And now for the last test, let's take a look at how she gets on with a hard floor. So guys, as you can see, she's off. Nothing seems to phase her. She, <laughs> she's, uh, yeah, she's just getting on with it. Now let's see how much dust got picked up. <laughs> Blimey, quite a bit, but pretty impressive how this little robot vac works. It has a lot of articulation on the wheel so it can climb up on uneven surfaces without too much of a problem. And now for some specs, you get up to 110 minutes of use depending on that suction strength. She has a washable charcoal and HEPA filter. Emma has a smart navigation system, the variable suction choices, and apparently she cleans up to three times faster than other robot vacs and is fully remote control via your Android or iOS smartphone. So guys, that is just about it for this one. If you're looking for a great, cost-effective, smart robot vacuum, then the Trifo Emma Essential Robot Vacuum is the one to beat. I'll leave any links and discount codes in the description. And guys, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks to you guys for watching, and thanks to Trifo for sending me Emma, the Essential Robot Vacuum, to review. And guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It does make a huge difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new videos. I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.